Hello! Today's video is all about the blues. We're going to be learning the chords, strum pattern, form, and an easy and more advanced riff for the standard 12-bar blues. And the goal of this video is to get you playing so that you know exactly what you can do the next time you're jamming with some friends playing the blues. Let's go ahead and dive in, and we're going to start. I'm going to bring the camera down. Start with an A7 chord. Take your index finger, place it here on the first fret of the C string. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a swing pattern. What that is is you're going to do a down and then up followed by a down really quickly. The trick to swing is that it's like this up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The distance between the up to the down is much smaller than the down to the up. For most people, it just sounds like this. Go ahead and try playing along with me. Now, if you're able to play this, awesome. You won't need any extra help. But if this rhythm's sort of tricky to you, you might be like me and have to look at it a little bit more mathematically. There's a link down below for you if that's the case. This is a struggle. But if you got this sound, go ahead and just play the blues with me right now on this A7 chord. Now the next chord we're going to play with the same pattern is going to be a D7 chord. Take this index finger, move it up to the second fret of the G string, middle finger here to the second fret of the E string, and we're going to do the same strumming. sound. Then the last chord we're going to play is an E7 chord. Take that index finger, slide it down one fret to the first fret of the G string, middle finger here to the second fret of the C, and ring finger here to the second fret of the A. Same pattern. Down, 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 up, swing. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hold this a little bit longer. Let's go back to that D7. See that index finger just slides over and kicks the middle finger down. Let's go back to the A7, the first chord, index finger there on the first fret of the C string. Pretty cool, right? Bring the camera up. It sounds bluesy, but it also sounds, you know, kind of rudderless, right? Because it doesn't have a form yet, and that's what this comes into play with. This is our standard 12-bar blues form. And if you've seen this before, awesome. If you haven't, it might look a little bit intimidating. Let me break down what's going on here. The first thing is you see it says an A7. That means A7 chord is going to be played for one bar. That one bar is going to be four beats, which is four sets of down and up with your strumming. What you'll notice is immediately after the A7, there's this little like division sign. This is called a repeat symbol. And all that this is, is playing whatever was played before it. So in this case, we play A7, and then the repeat means we play A7 again. And then after that's another repeat, so A7 again, and then another repeat after that, so A7 a fourth time. The first four bars of the 12 bar blues, in this case in the key of A, it's just gonna be an A7 chord played all the way through. It sounds something like this, just so that you can hear it. Two and three and four and one. Two, three, four, four bars of A7. From here we go on to the next thing, which you'll see is D7, and it's played twice. Once where it says D7, again where it says a repeat. Then we go back to our A7 chord. We play this one twice, once for where it says A7, once for that repeat symbol. And then we go to the bottom row here, and we're gonna play E7 just once, D7 once, and then A7 twice. And this is sort of interesting, because if you look at just the way that this is all organized, your A7 chord dominates the amount of time. And your E7 only gets one hit in the 12. But that's what makes it special, and that's what makes the blues sound so signature, is when you hit that chord, it's a moment. It's an important moment. And this differential between the chords is, again, what makes the blues sound so unique. So that's the form of the blues. A7, 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 <laughs> D7, D7, A7, A7, E7, D7, A7, A7. If you know some music theory and are looking at more with this, you could also think of this as the one chord for the first four bars, the four chord for two bars, the one chord again, then the five chord, four chord, and one chord for two bars again. One is A, B, C, D is four, E is five to give you that sense, but more on that another time for another lesson. Let's go ahead and hear what this form sounds like with these chords, and let's use a backing track using this amazing app called iReal Pro. Now, that's where this graphic comes from, and that's where the video that I'm going to be playing along is coming from. It is awesome. More about that in a moment. Let's go ahead and move the camera down, and let's hear what this sounds like. Pretty 
neat, right? Bringing the camera back up. That's just the basic chords with this form and it instantly sounds, well, bluesy, which is pretty great. But we want more than that. And what we're going to introduce here is a really cool, very simple blues riff. Now this riff is simply adding one note to each of the chords every other time you strum them down up. So to take a look at this, I'm gonna bring the camera down. I'm gonna play my A7 chord. I'm gonna do a down up on zero, one, zero, zero. And then when I do my next down up, I'm going to take this middle finger, I'm going to add it here to the second fret of the E string. I'm gonna do that one down up. And I'm going to repeat this. So it goes open on the E, two, open, two, open, two, open, two. Go ahead and try this with me. Really straightforward, right? But man, does it sound cool. And this is all I'm going to do. Each one of these passages is going to be a down and an up strum, either open or on two. And I'm going to do four total for each bar. So I'm going to do two on the here and then here. So it goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, and I'm just going to repeat this as long as I need it. Eventually, we are going to go to the D7 chord though, right? And so I'm going to play that D7 the way we learned earlier, 2020 two, zero with our index and middle fingers. And then we're gonna take the ring finger and we're going to squeeze it in underneath to the second fret of the A string. And so that sounds something like this. Kind of nice, right? And then the last chord, my E7 chord, I'm gonna go to my E7 that we learned before, one, two, zero, two, with index, middle, and ring. And I'm going to do the down up here. And then I'm gonna take this pinky, I'm gonna stretch it all the way up to the fourth fret of the A string. This can be a little tricky at first. Feels like a bit of a stretch and much like stretching with yoga or something, consistent effort will lead to better flexibility. So stick with it and you'll get it. And those are the riffs that we're gonna be playing. So the A7 one again, the D7 one, and finally the E7 one. Now, if you need to, go ahead and pause the video here and practice these three as you go through it. But I wanna show you what this can sound like using that backing track. Again, using that iReal Pro app, which is just awesome. It's gonna play along just like it did when I played just the chords. I'm gonna bring the camera back down and it's gonna sound something like this. So bringing the camera back up, that is our simple blues riff. And I love the sound of this. And honestly, if this is all that you take away from this video, fantastic. It spices up the blues a lot more than just playing the chords and makes for a good time. But if you're looking for an even further challenge, then let's go ahead and look at the advanced riff. So I'm gonna bring the camera back down again. And we're gonna take a look at this A7. Now the A7 is the one that we play the most, right? So naturally it's going to be the hardest one because we wanna play it the most. So the way I do this is it's a four beat pattern and the tab looks something like this. I'm gonna play my A7, my one on the C string. I'm gonna do that as a downstroke. Then I'm gonna come up all open. So I just take off my left hand and I do my up strum. Now the next thing I'm gonna play after this is two on the C and two on the E. I like to use my middle and ring fingers here. And I'm gonna do a downstroke on those. Two on the C, two on the E. Then I'm gonna come up all open again. And then I'm gonna go down on four on the C and three with the E. And I like to use my ring finger and my middle finger here. So the fingers are kind of jumping around and that's kind of what I like about it. I'm gonna come up open. Finally, I'm gonna do the two and two again. And then I'm gonna come up open. So what this looks like is a four bar pattern or four beat pattern, excuse me, is going to be and There's a variety of ways that you can fret this. You can use just these two fingers and move up. 
Or you can even flip-flop using like your middle and ring and then flip them and ring and middle. Even though that's a little bit less efficient, I really like it both visually and it feels cool. However you play it is okay as long as you're able to get this in time. But this is one of my favorite things to play on the ukulele. Truly, I do it all the time because it just sounds so awesome. Now what's cool is if you're watching this and this is confusing and you're getting stressed out, you can just do the basic riff or even just the basic chord while I do this because the blues is modular. It all works together and that's what makes it so cool. Awesome. Now the D7 chord what I'm going to play here is I'm going to play my D7 a little bit differently. I'm going to use my middle finger on the G string and my ring finger here on the E string. And I'm going to do a down up on that chord so no open strings here. And then I'm going to move my middle finger up to fret four, take my ring finger off, and add my index finger on fret three of the E string. I'm gonna do an up, down up there. And then I'm gonna move that middle finger up to five, take the index off, kick the ring finger down to five on the E string. Do a down up there. Slide the middle back down to four, add the index here on three of the E, do a down up there. And that repeats, so it goes something like this. You'll notice that this feels kind of like rubbing your tummy and tapping your head at the same time, and that's normal with it. But it's a cool sound. Finally, the E7 chord we play the least, right? So all that I'm going to do here with the E7 is I'm going to add the pinky on 4 just like we did with our basic riff, and then ooh, I'm going to stretch it up, up to 5 on the A. So the difficulty here is the stretch in the hand. It might take some work. It's okay for your ring finger to pop off here when you're stretching that pinky finger all the way up to 5. And it's going from 2 to 4 to 5, back down to 4, and 2. And that's your E7. So we have the A7, the D7, and the E7 to create this really massive awesome riff that sounds great when you jam out with it. Now I'm going to play it with the app. If you want, go ahead and try playing the advanced riff with me. And if you want to just play the simple one or the chords, those work too. And that's what makes this so cool. It should sound something like this. have it. Bring the camera back up. So there you have the 12 bar blues, basic chords, basic rhythm in the form, and then a simple riff and a more complicated riff so that you can start jamming with friends and playing the blues. If you'd like to check out more with this, that app iReal Pro has this built in. It's just within their exercises of blues simple and you can play along. It's a lot of fun with the app. Also on my Patreon page, I've got a tab of all of this available as well as a backing track that features the ukulele that you can check out if you wanna jam along. And this was actually voted on for this month's lesson. Every month I do a vote based on suggestions of patrons and then they decide what the tutorial is going to be. And this month the winner was a blues jam. There's gonna be a part two to this video. This was my favorite riff stuff. We're gonna also do some favorite blues licks. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. And I'll see you all for the next lesson. Thank you so much.